Hey man, I don't hate you. Just so you know, I don't hate you, man. I care for your soul. Just want to talk. Yeah, man. All right, so curious, why do you why do you follow Muhammad, man? Why do I follow Muhammad? Yeah, you're Muslim, right? He's God's messenger. Okay, you think he's God's messenger? Why does the Quran say that he was possessed by Satan? You know the Bible says that Satan is the god of this world, right? The Quran says that? Yeah, the Quran says that Muhammad was possessed by Satan. Where? Uh, I don't I know the, I don't know the exact surah at, off the top of my head, but you could don't don't trust anything I say, man. Do your own research, most definitely. But if you research that, you'll find it. That there's a point where you, Muhammad was possessed by to Satan. Convince me, man. No, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. If you could help me find the key words or the exact surah, you could you, know, you could just probably could, you, like, you could just probably Google. Convince me, man. You could probably just search on Google, Muhammad possessed by Satan, Quran, and it would probably pop up. But um. Yeah. Okay, you... I got you. Give me one second. Yeah, man. Come on. Sorry. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm just letting you know that your book says that Jesus Christ is a prophet, right? It says he's just a prophet. But I'm telling you, he's not just a prophet. He's the son of God, and he is God. In the Bible, Jesus says, I and the Father are one. That means there, that he is God in man flesh. And when um, Jesus was a sinless man, and he died, and he arose from the dead on the third day, proving that all his teachings are true. Now, Muhammad was not a sinless man. Why would we follow the dead and expect everlasting life? I'm going to follow the living, and, it, and from those teachings, I'm going to get everlasting life. Because Jesus proved to beat death. <clears throat> Muhammad did not. What do you mean by that? I mean that Muhammad died in his sins. He proved to be dead. Muhammad died in his sins and he did not rise from the dead. But Jesus was sinless. He died and he arose from the dead. Jesus Christ beat the dead. He beat death for us. But Muhammad did not. That's what I'm saying. Why would you follow the dead when you could follow the living? Why would you still want to be alive? On this earth. Why would I? Why do I want to live on this earth? Wait, wait. So if he comes back to alive, what does that prove? It proves that all his teachings that it proves that everything he said was true, and what Jesus said is we must be born again to enter heaven, and what Jesus said we can have a relationship with God. In the Quran, God is far off, right? He, you can't have a connection relationship with him, right? Uh, um, but the Bible says you can and you can be born again and I have Christ living within my heart man I have Christ in my mind if you become a true Christian you can have the mind of Christ man you can become you can become born again but the Quran will not teach you this the the Quran says that Jesus was a prophet and he he has his prophecies but the prophecies of Jesus are not depicted in the Quran you have to go to the Holy Bible for the prophets of Jesus what he said and if you go study what Jesus said, you'll learn the truth, man. He says you must be born again. You must turn from all your sins. And the Quran does not teach that. That's why it's leading people to hell. That's why I care for your soul, man. I don't want you to be misled. There's plenty of Muslims who have came to Christianity, started following Christ. Same goes for the opposite. I'm not a full-on scholar to um, argue with you. No, I'm not, we're not arguing. Um... But we we have to become students, man. We have no, to we to have to study the with you. No, we have to study the text, man, because our souls are at stake. We have to really search for the truth, because if you're following the wrong, the wrong thing, it can lead you to hell. Uh, your book. I get you, man. Yeah. But like, what? You say like, what, you what said you get me, but something. Carry on, man. 
Uh, wait, what, was I, what was I gonna say? Sorry, I have the first. I, I, I don't know what you were gonna say, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. In in the Quran, Muhammad, like he he had sex with children, man. And people are following him. It's kind of crazy to me. Are you? Do you support pedophilia? But. No, I don't support pedophilia, but he didn't marry no nine-year-old. What the hell? Yeah, he did. He, like she, she, she was six, and then he married her when he when she was nine. Yeah, man. We have to... Have you read the Quran okay. cover to cover? Okay, I believe that is wrong. I believe... I don't think it says in the Quran. I think it says in the Hadith. It's not really a, in the Quran, but I don't, I'm not sure. But I'll look it up right now, and then let me see what it says, and then... I'll come back. Just like give me ten seconds. Yeah, man, take your time. In the meantime, I'm curious, where where are you learning your doctrine? Like where are you learning what you know from? Go to, raise. Say it again? Raise? As a Muslim. Oh, you so you like raise as a Muslim. Okay. So like was that like you learn from reading the book yourself or just people uh, telling you bits and pieces? And you just listening and taking it as truth. So both research and I read the book when I was a kid, but like I could read it and I could read it right now, but I can only read it in Arabic. I don't understand it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because there's a so you have like basically reading it without meaning. So you have like English translations, right? And you would consider those accurate, right? fault are accurate but they are meanings that can like defer a little bit but it's very close to the same genre yeah basically yeah very 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 yeah same with the accurate. the holy bible a lot of people will be like oh it's just a translation well we have translations of everything with the bible it's twenty five thousand manuscripts within 99 percent accuracy like the niv version of the bible is a bad version of the bible um there's a part where jesus says Certain types of demons can only be removed through fasting and prayer, but the NIV just says prayer. It takes out the fasting part. But, um, yeah, most Bibles are really accurate except for the NIV. So I'm sure there's some bad translations out there, but 99% accuracy, man. You just got to get the King James. Um, have you ever read a Bible? Like, the words of your, the, you consider him a prophet, but I know him to be the son of God. Jesus Nope, I haven't I read a little bit. Wait, yeah, man, it's, it's his words, man. He uh, he teaches the truth. You see, he uh, the, the term being born again, what it really means is me and you, at least you, I'm born again. So I used to love my sins, man. Like I used to lie, steal, get drunk, all these things, like the sins. Now, when you're born again, you have the mind of God and you start to love what God loves and hate what God hates. So the sins that you used to love, you'll naturally just start hating them and you'll be, you're a new creation. That's what being born again is like you're in the same flesh, but your mind and your heart is of God. That can happen to you, but through the teachings of Jesus, the, the Quran doesn't teach this. Good understanding. Yeah, man, the, it's a key part because yeah, like, Quran teaches that you can be forgiven. Yeah, but Jesus says like, like you can be forgiven whenever you want. It. Something key that you consider Jesus as long a prophet. As you keep asking for it. What Jesus said is you must be born yeah. again to enter heaven. Don't be fooled. Like this is a very important part. The only people who are in the book of life are the people who are born again, man. And I, I really do care for the souls out here. I might come off. How do you, how do you get? I might come off in chat as like a, a hateful person and, and harsh and rude, but I'm just trying to say the truth. And the truth will offend people. People will be offended by anything, man. If someone does come at you hard like that, too, um, you should uh, try to understand them, you know? Oh, like, yeah, that's why I backed when, you in, man. When, you, like, when you're telling me over here. Yeah, what's it called? Like, like even though I'm Muslim and I'm probably gonna stay Muslim, 
I'm still trying to find out the wrongings you're telling me, you know? Like, I'm still trying to prove my own religion wrong at the same time proving it right. Like, I'm just trying to choose the right one. Imagine, like, just be the smart person in the world. What if another, what if, okay, what if your religion is right? I'm going to be smart about it, and I'm going to think and choose, you know? You should do the same. Like, yeah, I've studied the Quran. Like, I've studied a lot. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. That's why, because I, I started you, off my like journey. Oh, whoa, whoa. Shit. Watch out, watch out. There's that potty mouth, man. When you're born again, that potty mouth goes away, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the fruits. Jesus says, judge them off their fruits. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, man. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. I used to be the same, man. And Jesus also says, if you're not serving Jesus, if you're not serving God, then you're serving Satan, man. And I, you might take this extremely offensive, but the teachings of Allah and the Quran, it's a book from Satan, man. It's meant to mislead people into hell. How, bro? Come on, man. It doesn't. It you, doesn't teach you to be born you, again. It, the book the says funny that. Thing is, though, it, it does. The only bad part you're telling me is that he married a six-year-old. You're not saying Muslim what, says go kill yourself. What, what about yourself up. what about uh, Muhammad married a six-year-old? I mean, the the Quran does say to um, suppress and destroy the unbelievers, right? It says that, but it says yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you give him three times. You tell him three times. All right, all right, and the fourth and the time, time you're not on the fourth to time, you get shot. <laughs> I, I just said you're not supposed to. Bro. Man, Sora 434. He says you're not supposed to. I'm not sure where. Sora, what? Sora um, Sharat 434 says it's okay to beat your wife. Uh, I'm just I'm just saying these teachings are they're, um, they lead to violence, man. It's not the oh, fruits of God. Oh, I need to look that up. Yeah, man. It's around 434. There are on that as well. They explain it. I think it's something oh, I'm sure. about if they like, behave completely out of line or something. I know, I but still. never do it, and you're not allowed to do it. Like, well, your, your book says to do it, though. Like, it, 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 so your human consciousness is, is oh, going against behind it. You, watch out. Whoa, hello. There's that, there's that potty mouth again, man. Here, okay, we can, okay, we can come over here where we have peace in my house. Or, I said watch out. I said something bad. Uh, I heard the uh, the S word, but it's all right, man. I won't get offended. I'm just noticing. Oh, I don't remember. I, don't, I really don't remember. That's all I was really asking. I don't mind. If, I mean, I do mind if you mind. Oh, man. I, mean, I, 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 say I have been around sinners, and I'm, I still find myself around sinners, man. That's all right. No. Where were we? Um... Oh, we're talking about forgot. All right, let me tell you. Um, Jesus says, Nar oh. "Narrow is the way to salvation, and broad is the way to destruction." Um, the the pathway to being saved and entering heaven is very narrow, man. We must become holy here on earth, and it's only possible through the Holy Spirit and the teachings of God, man. Like. We have to turn from our sins here on earth. We don't become different in heaven. No, we have to become different here to enter. A lot of people are just waiting, waiting, waiting. No, we have to we have to do it now. And we can do it now with the power of God. That is true. See, that's why, that's why I came to talk to you. I knew you were religious and Not, like people like you. I don't follow, I don't follow religion, man. Turn before you die. I don't follow religion. I follow the Son of God and the teachings of Jesus Christ only. Uh, the the Catholic, it's the Catholic yeah. is a religion, and I don't follow that. Like that's considered Are you a guys branch Catholic of Catholic in the afterlife. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Catholics, they're not Christians. They they don't the the Jesus Christ, I mean, Jesus Christ says, "Call no man father, repent your sins directly to God." The Catholic Church, they have a priest in there saying, "Call me father and repent your sins to me." That's blasphemy, man. It's it's from Ooh, Satan. I have a question though. Are, yeah, are you guys religious Who? in the afterlife? Who me? And that it continues on. No, like like what happens? Are you still supposed to be? Heaven. Like, heaven is a place. Religious followed. Heaven is a place for the holy who love God. 
So just like we worship God, if you're worshiping God here yeah, on Earth... Are you in Islam? Yeah, tell me, go ahead and speak, man. I want to yeah. listen to you. You know, you, you're not in Islam. You're not Muslim in heaven. It's done. There's no Islam no more. What, happen, no what happens like, in heaven for you? You're free. Basically, you're... I heard you get like a bunch of wives, yeah, right? Know. In heaven, what happens in heaven? You have like a bunch of girls, right? Oh yeah, I think you could, to be honest. That's from Satan, man. That's from it's Satan. It's for people. It's for people. No, if you don't have a wife, like the, you go there, there's wives. You can get a wife. The, the teachings of Jesus. Like that. Jesus Christ says. If you have your own wife, she's seventy thousand times supposed to be better over there. It's like that for everything. Listen, man. Jesus says, you consider Jesus a prophet. This is what he says. He says, in heaven, there's no sex. There's no marriage. You see, sex and marriage is an earthly covenant. It's only for people here on earth. That's what, that's what Jesus teaches. Um... I'm not too sure anything about marriage in heaven or none of that, to be honest. That's why we have to become students, but man. Either way, I don't we think... Yeah. I, I've, I, uh, but you I've know researched what? a lot, man. We have, I'm still researching. I'm still learning. I'm not in the, the clear state of mind right now. Are you intoxicated? But, um... Yeah, I am intoxicated. Man. Yeah. With what? But, um... Uh, weed. Man, I, I was smoking. Marijuana. I was addicted to weed for seven years, man. And Jesus Christ delivered me from it, man. You can cast all of your addictions upon him. Yeah, that's man. Good. That's yeah, true. That shit's never gonna go away. It's I, around me 24-7. I was addicted to a lot more than weed, too. And he, I've been delivered. Only through the power of Christ, man. We can be born again, man. I would love to see that happen to you. I would love to see you in heaven, man. But it's it's a hard path because a lot of people think that they can just accept Christ and then carry on in sin. No. If we accept Christ, we have to become holy and we have to stay on the narrow path, man. Do you think you still have work to do to go to heaven? I think I'm doing God's work, man. I've been, I, I gave my, see, the Bible says, if you want to keep your life, you'll lose your life. But if you give up your life for God, only then will you gain your life. You see, my old life, I will come on this game just to say I'm friendly and then shoot you in the head. You know, like, I've given up my life to serve God now. <laughs> wait, but, um, wait, is Jesus your God? Oh yeah, Jesus. Here, look. There's a Trinity. It's or called the, the Father, the Son, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. All three are one. All three are one, but they they have different um, essences. Just like your body is one, but you have a foot, you have an arm, you have a leg, and they're all different, right? Just like God, He has three different pieces. They're all different, but they are all one at the same time. It's not something that our earthly minds can easily easily understand, but that's how He works. So when you can you can get the but, Holy Spirit but, within your body to help you overcome your addictions and to help you become holy, we can't do it with our by ourselves, man. But what was the point? What was the point of Jesus <clears throat> resurrecting to be to, sh to be born again and show that we could be related with God? We have a relation with God through Jesus. Yeah, the <clears throat> the <clears throat> the only way to have a relationship with God. Is through Jesus because Jesus Christ is God in man form. So as I said, the the Trinity, the three, the three but one. Jesus Christ was one of the three, but here on Earth is human. So it was God in man form. Your book says Why Jesus is God a turn himself to a man because God does not wish anyone to perish, but everyone has sinned, and the wages of sin is death. And whenever there's sin, there needs to be an atonement of sin. Now, 
if we died in our sins and we enter the judgment and we were given a court for everything, if we die in our sins without Jesus, we're going to have to pay for our sin, which will result in hell. But God sent God sent himself down, Jesus Christ, to pay for the sins of the world. And anyone who puts their faith into Jesus and turns from their sin will be considered acceptable into heaven. Only through him can we become holy. Why does he have to go through pain? Why did Jesus have to go through pain? He went through pain, but it was a temporary pain, man. He knew exactly what was coming. It's not like he was caught off guard. He knew exactly well what was coming. He predicted everything that was coming towards him. He predicted them coming to take him off to be crucified. He knew this all way ahead. And when he told his disciples, they were like, oh, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. And what he told his disciples, Satan, get behind me. Because he had the higher understanding. He knew He knew the plan already because he's God damn what it, I'm just thinking right now this, um... see the Bible says that no liars no thieves no fornicators no adulterers no drunks, no homosexuals can enter the kingdom of heaven. But we have all fallen short and we have all sinned in some way. So by default, we would all be going to hell. But God does not want that. So he sent us a way to become holy here on earth and actually have a relationship with God here on earth so that we can become acceptable into heaven. Because God wants us to be in heaven, but many, most won't make it, man. So he has to send his messengers so we can get the few that he actually wants in. I think you're hearing this for a reason, man. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I mean, in my case, if I now you made me way more, you made me want to go study my religion. And other oh, yeah. Uh, so, we got to study. In a way. Yeah, man. Because if oh, you're like, wrong, oh, 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 oh. it's like if you're wrong on if you if you just blindly pick something without studying it, and you're wrong, the fine for the fine for that is hell forever. So we got to be very certain that what is, we put our belief in. True. And then Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, Look, and the life." He says, "I am the way, the truth, and the I'm life. Right None now? come to the Father except through me." That's what Jesus said. But these teachings are not in the Quran. The Quran just mentions him as a prophet, and it mentions that he has the prophecy. But it does not list the prophecy. The prophecy Wait, is listed in the Holy Bible. Are you Christian, Catholic? No, no, no. Catholic is from are Satan. Are you Christian or Catholic? The Catholic's from Satan. I am a follower of oh. Christ. I'm a Christian. Now, I, I, I normally wouldn't even call myself a Christian. Okay. I would just call myself a follower of Christ. Because I, I take the words of Jesus... And I, I obey only Jesus. I don't obey the religions that are man-made. I just look at the words of the Son of God, God himself, and I follow what God says to do. He says, go out, Damn, he says, go out into the world and preach the gospel. A lot of Muslims, you would be a good Muslim if you were one. But, um, <laughs> Why are you like saying I that? Said, <laughs> Cause like you, you you like your meaning is like you'd be like one of the best Muslims like <laughs> your, like definitions and stuff nah, man. Your, like, ideology. If I was a Muslim, I'd be going to hell, they man. Would preach you, you know. If I was a Muslim, I wouldn't be here talking to you, man. <laughs> I wouldn't be born again. I would I would still be the same old me. There has to be a change, and only you can only get that change through God, the connection with God, Jesus Christ. I have a lot of, I could tell you a lot, a lot of stuff, but I really do not remember. Like, I'm like, honestly, like, probably because I smoke a lot of weed. Yeah, man, but, like, that'll do it. Learning to be Muslim. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff I could say, but I'm retarded. I don't remember, but. We will you know, destroy your, could also talk it'll destroy it. your yeah. memory, man. It was destroying my memory for a while. Yeah, I know. I don't like it. Yeah, man. Oh, I hate that shit. I you can. Like I, I stopped doing it. You can quit. Time. You can quit with God, man. So do it, but you just gotta call out upon Jesus and say, "I'm done with this, Jesus." He He is alive, and He can hear you, man. If He senses in your heart that you're seeking Him, 
he'll meet you halfway. But if he senses in your heart that you hate him and you're running from him, he's not going to come to you. Are you going to be on the server this weekend? Yeah, uh, I just joined it today, but I plan to be playing. I got a pretty nice little base. Plan to be playing. Hopefully, what's it called? We talk again soon. Yeah, man, you don't. Yeah, you don't talk. Uh, friends too that want to talk. Uh, we can still continue on. I'm just thinking right now. Yeah, man. What to say? To be honest. <laughs> See, um, when when Jesus was captured. He had some men with him, and he told his men not to fight back when he was being stolen. And this is the words of Jesus in John 18, 36. Then Jesus replied, I am not an earthly king. If I were, my followers would have fought when I was arrested by the Jewish leaders. But my kingdom is not of this world. He, he's His kingdom is in heaven, man. He's leading his people to heaven. He doesn't operate. Like we operate here on Earth, he operates from a higher view. See, this is this is the thing about oh, the gospel. Have to send his son down, though. It has to be an atonement. For, you have to have an atonement for sin. And when Jesus Christ was a sinless man, so when he bled on that cross, that blood was the perfect atonement for anyone who puts their faith into him and turns from sin. We can't do it ourselves, and God knows this. This is the thing about the gospel. This is like why a lot of people hate the true gospel and they get offended. In Hebrews 4.12, it says, For whatever God says to us is full of living power. It is sharper than the sharpest dagger, cutting swift and deep into our innermost thoughts and desires with all their parts, exposing us for what we really are. He knows about everyone, everywhere. Everything about us is bare and wide open to the all-seeing eyes of our living God. Nothing can be hidden from him to whom we must explain all that we have done. Every man will face death and then the judgment, where on the judgment you're going to have to give an account for everything you've done in your life. You're going to sit there and answer for everything. And he, he's seen everything. And everything you've done in public, he's seen, he's seen all your thoughts. He's seen everything you've done not in public. He knows it all. He knows everything about you. He knows how many hairs are on your head, man. He is the almighty living God. Oh, that is pretty crazy. Yeah, man. We're going to have to give an account. Like that. Like... And every, the Bible says that. Wait, if you yeah. sin. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. If you sin after you're born again, what happens? If you purpose, if you purposely sin, like if, you, if you're born again and then you're like, oh, I'm just going to start fornicating all the time, and I don't care. Then you can lose. I'll, I'll read you out. Of, I'll read you out of uh, Hebrews ten. I think it's Hebrews ten twenty six. One second. All right. All right. Here we go. Hebrews ten. Yeah. Hebrews ten twenty six. Perfect. If anyone sins deliberately by rejecting the Savior after knowing the truth of forgiveness, the sin is not covered by Christ's death. So if, if we know the truth and we carry on in sin, the blood that forgave all of our sins will no longer cover us. The Bible says that no one can take you out of the hands of God. Once you're with God, no one can take you from God. But we can walk away from God. God's not going to force anyone to come to his kingdom. What if, like, what if, like, some dude, like, you know, like, like, you're born again. I'm being for real right now. Then you're born again, and then you know you're walking, and your boy likes to blend, like you know, and you're just tempted. It's not like you force. You're not forcefully doing. Although you did it and you knew, you couldn't help yourself. You know. I can actually understand your you viewpoint because back before I was saved, I would smoke like a lot of weed, man. Like maybe like almost a half ounce every day, and um. And I was always tempted. I was always wanting to smoke. Damn. I always had desires and I was always wanting the next smoke, right? And when you're born again, all these temptations, all these desires, they fade. 
Like there is no temptation for me. It's a beautiful, miraculous thing. And it's all glory to Jesus Christ, man. He can start working within you. You can have the spirit of God within you to help you overcome your sins. Being born again is usually not an instant thing. It can be instant, but usually for me, it was a, it was a, it was a transformation process, you know? So you, you start with like knocking off these couple sins and then you start it. You, you have to be, you have to read your Holy Bible. You have to confess your sins to God. You have to repent of the sins and turn from them and ask the Holy Spirit to enter your body and help you, man. And he will. If he sees you working to meet him, he will meet you. But if he sees you hating God and pushing away from God, he will distance himself. That's what I'm saying. The uh, the Quran is, I'm not trying to offend you, man, but it's the truth. The Quran is not teaching people these things. The The Quran, the, we have to look at the fruits. People will stay in their sin. And if they stay in their sin, they cannot go to heaven. You just, see how you find all these stuff about your Bible? Why don't you go look for it in the Quran too? I've read it. I've read it. it, it it's, um, try to, what did you I've I've looked at it, I just I just see I don't don't see it as the truth. I see the teachings of Jesus Christ as the truth. Because once you see the truth, you can you can feel in your spirit when something is true or false. And the Bible says if you're not if you're not serving Jesus, you are serving Satan. And because there's only two there's only two gods. There's one main God, Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, the Holy are you Spirit. Scared of God. Oh, yeah. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. I can lose my salvation, man. I can I can fall into sin and then he can give me over to a reprobate mind. I w that's scary, man. Even the disciple Paul, one of the authors of the Bible, he was writing about how he was fearing losing his salvation, man. We can lose it. That's why we have to be fully submitted what to God. What do you mean losing salvation? You know how like people say, "Oh, I've been saved by Jesus. I'm going to heaven." That's the salvation, like knowing you can get into heaven. So we can lose that if we decide to start disobeying God and walking away from God. No, but like, like, do you like? How do you fear him? Like, what do you fear the, of him? The Bible says, "Don't fear the man that can merely kill your body." But fear the living God that can kill your body and cast your soul into hell. He can send me to hell for eternity, man. He can destroy me. Fully. Not only things in this world, but he can put me, my soul, in a place of everlasting doom. That's that's yeah. scary, man. And the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. That is pretty scary if you think about oh, it. Oh, like, it's it's horrific. You created your nightmares. It's the so living God. Yeah. Imagine what other nightmares you can make. We're gonna stand before Him, man. When we die, we're gonna stand before Him. And if you put your faith into Jesus Christ here on earth and live for Jesus Christ here on earth, even though me and you, we both have many sins that we've done, if we give up our lives for God and start serving God, when we're in that judgment room, Jesus Christ will stand before the Almighty Father and say. This man has sinned before, but he gave up his ways. He changed. He was born again and he lived for me. He is acceptable into heaven. Jesus Christ is the best lawyer in the universe. We, we all have things that does, we are deserving of hell that we've done. But Christ can bypass all of this. He is the only way to by bypass sin because there needs to be an atonement for sin. He's the only one to pay for our sins. And if, if we die without faith in him, we're going to have to pay for our own sins, which will result in hell forever. So, yeah, I, I do fear God, man. That's all I fear. Do you, like, fear if your family members and stuff will go to hell or heaven? Hopefully heaven. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, of course, I don't, I don't like the idea, man. But after, after a certain amount of time, there, you can't, you know, you can't bring anybody to God 
I can't bring you to God. I can't push you away from God. The only people that can come to God are the one that God is calling to them, to him. So if they're just going to deny Christ, deny God, I just have to accept it pretty much. And I spend my time just worrying about how I can serve God. I don't, I don't go into deep depression or think about these things much. I just know the truth that if someone dies without Christ, I know where they're going. And it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing. But but Christ, and the Bible says if you lose family members, if you lose fathers, mothers, daughters, sons, because of the gospel and because of Jesus, you'll get a hundred times that in heaven. So it's just, I don't yeah. I don't worry about it much. Of course, I, I I do worry about it, but it's not like it's not like I, I lose a bunch of sleep and get all depressed. I just know what it is. It's all meant for a reason, man. It's all for a reason. I'm gonna be for real with you. Yeah, man. Like, I would be probably depressed, and like you know, if I wasn't Muslim, because I would be thinking a lot about like what the fuck would happen if you die, you know. But. but I'm, what I'm going to say is, like, like, don't turn your head away to research. Oh, no. You know, I, I research everything. Information I, yeah. thrown at you. Oh, yeah. Like, what? like, no, if someone, like, proves you wrong, don't be stubborn or close-minded. I'm not saying, like, no one proves you wrong, but, like, in any future debates, oh, oh, yeah. try to take their argument, like, because, like, you came in here. You're saying like Prophet Muhammad this and that, you know? I'm just like, saying the facts. He he uh, was with the child, just, and I don't support that. that. That's like not even, that's not even accurate though. It's it like, is. It's in it's in the Quran, man. 100 percent accurate. The facts are he died. His bones are there. He did not rise from the dead. The facts of Jesus, he died. He arose from the dead on the third day. We don't have his bones, and his tomb is empty. He is the son of God, man. He performed miracles all across the world. He's the most recorded man in all, all of history. Have you felt like I've been... How? Uh, huh? How? I don't know. It just, it just happened because he would go around healing people of all their sicknesses. And then people... Like it was in an age without social media. And it, the word still traveled everywhere. And people still sought him out because they've heard the rumors. And then when they went to see him because of the rumors, he healed them. And then it got even bigger and bigger and bigger. It's God, man. Of course people are going to go crazy. They're going to be like, oh, heal me. And he'll be like, I will heal you. Healed. God can heal cancer, man. Even today, people can get their tumors just removed in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is the mightiest name on this universe, man. Demons tremble in fear of the name of Jesus. People, demons get cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, here's the part where I was telling you about marriage. In Luke 20, 34, Jesus replied, Marriage is for people here on earth, but when those who are counted worthy of being raised from the dead get to heaven, they do not marry, and they never die again. In these respects, they are like angels and are sons of God, for they are raised up in new life from the dead. So there's no marriage in heaven. See, the, your book calls Jesus a prophet, but then in the in the book that Jesus actually talks in, he contradicts everything everything from the Quran. Why would they call him a prophet then? If we don't, if if you're if he's gonna call him a prophet, you should listen to his words. Who are our prophets? Um, in the Quran, Jesus is a prophet, oh, 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 right? Oh. Yeah. So how could he say that? But then in your book, you can have a bunch of fornication and a bunch of girls in heaven. It just doesn't add up. Wait, you can't have fornication. You said That's extremely wrong. You said a bunch of a bunch of girls, right? That's either fornication or adultery or something. Because the Bible says one man, one oh, woman. I mean, like I said, like, there's no, yeah, there's no Islam and Muslim. There's no, it makes no sense to put that in heaven. Like, I see this, this argument that like, I completely forgot right here. Like, I could have 100% explained why. But, like, dude, 
the whole concept is like Islam. Like it makes no sense if there was Islam in heaven. So why would that doesn't matter if you could have hella wives over there, fornication or not? Doesn't matter. There's no rules, you know. Whatever is said is fine up there. No, but that that would, would make it hell, man. Supposed to be clean up there. Yeah, yeah. So if it, if it's yeah. just whatever you want, Allah Allah's supposed to be a perfect judge, right? Not like see like when I was a kid, I, I used to tell my mom like I could do whatever I want. What I want to go fight like like right now I want to join the army. I I told her like I want to go fight, kill people like Call of Duty, and like I remember like I remember I was I used to go Quran class too, and then when I asked my teacher that and they explained to me perfectly like obviously you can't like it will probably be like fake people. There's not gonna be like I don't know like you don't know like it's heaven. If he could create humans, he could do whatever he wants. You like, unthinkable things like we're arguing over basic like if you could have sex or not in heaven, you know. Well, it's, like, it comes down to are endless, what right? are sins. So, in God's eyes, there are sins, and whenever we're in heaven, it's a place without sin, fully. So no lying, no stealing, no killing, no adultery, no fornication, no homosexuality, no drunkenness. All these things are not there, but in the Quran, I guess it's all there, right? It's whatever you want, right? It's, it's endless possibilities, right? That's how I see it as a lie, because the, God said one thing, and then they put something else there. Yeah, but it also says, it literally says, like, everybody's pure and clean when they go there. It's like, you're, you're, your mind yeah, is yeah, pure. Yeah, you're, so then how... Pure, you're not going to think those stuff. So then, how could those things like, even come up? So like, we have to we have to be uh, thinking like, if it if it's a pure place, then how could you have all the? I've heard, I've heard a lot of Muslims say like, oh yeah, I'll get a bunch of wives in heaven. Like, it's not pure. All right, here's like a good like look at your hands real quick. Your left hand and your right hand. The left hand, the Bible says that God is on one side and all the people on the other side. And Jesus Christ himself, man, is between them to bring them together by giving his life for all mankind. So, so your left hand is humanity. Your right hand is God. Jesus Christ is in the middle. He's the only way to God. He's the only mediator. That's how we get to know God is through his son, Jesus. That's how we're born again is through his son, Jesus. That's how he hears our prayers is by praying in Jesus' name. He's the mediator between the, the toxic humanity and the perfect the perfect God. That's how we can be cleansed through the mediator, Jesus. Why do you need a mediator? You have God, but he's perfect. Yeah, Jesus is God in man form, but we need a, uh, a mediator because we're here on earth and we want to pray and we want to have communications and relations. And we could do that through his son, Jesus. When I say his son, I, I mean... God himself, because the Son, God, and the Holy Spirit are one but separate. That doesn't really make much sense in our human minds, but that's just how he operates. God is a perfect being, perfect judge. He's perfect in every way. He's way out of our comprehension. Way, way out of our comprehension. You see that? You need more definition in, in, your, in your, like your three main arguments, like the Trinity and God is... The human form and stuff like you guys need more explanation there see okay mean? here's the explanation like your body your body your, you are a body a mind and a soul you're three in one but those three things are separate although you are one same with god he is three things they're separate but one if that makes a little bit more sense I thought it was just your soul and body. How's so, your mind? That's, that's because your your thoughts don't come from your actual body. When your body dies, you're you're you're, you're gonna carry on. Yeah, hey man, I, yeah, I appreciate your off. your patience, man. It's been a great talk. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll let you out, man. I'm put this here too, like, yeah, I'm just gonna kill myself probably, but um. I could argue we argue with you for ten years and you can still be a Christian. I'll still be your friend, you know. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even arguing with me, man. I'm just trying just, to just remember tell you what God said.
Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. So we must be born no, again no, to saying, you know, like, argue or not. Just like you, like you know in your instinct that you yeah. need to make a change and you have things to work on. The Bible will teach you how to make these changes and how to have God working with you to help you break these chains, man. That's what God wants. He wants to work with you. If you want to seek him, he wants you to put your faith in his son and his son will start working. The Holy Spirit will start working through your vessel to help you break these chains, man. We can we can only do it with the higher power. Only We can only become saints with help of God because our, self, our, our flesh loves the sin. But we need the spirit. The flesh gives birth to more flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. We need the spirit of God birthed into us. And the Holy Bible, the teachings oh, of Jesus teaches us. Yeah, man, I love you, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on a video on the you said record this, I'll put it on YouTube. Figure yeah, you might as well reach some other Muslims and Maybe people can put in the comments other th their thoughts, and we can keep the conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. going. Yeah, you really need to um, find other debate, like people to debate with. You know? Oh Never yeah, man. Stop arguing. Don't argue, but always find debates because. Oh yeah. You try to prove the other person wrong. You know? Yeah, that's how I. Wrong. Like let yourself get proven wrong, so you can prove them wrong, and then you find the truth like that. Yeah, I, I just never, I've never seen the teachings of God be proven wrong. That's why, that's why I kind of know some things about the, the Quran and the Muslim religion. I don't know everything. I know I've studied yeah, some. I know some people that if they were to take my spot, they would have a good like, you know, we really good argument. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure. Would, like responding back I'm and sure. stuff. And I could say the I'm same for me, cool. man. I could say the yeah. same thing for me. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, like that. So, I mean, if you want to become the best debater, you know, you got to debate with hella people like me and, like, better than me. And, like, you know, just get proven wrong, bro. Like, get proven wrong so you can prove them wrong. I'm not, so you, like, prove other people wrong, too. So you could have counter arguments for your arguments. Like, keep doing that. Because, like, the only thing I can say right now is get more educated. I'm not telling you to do. Become Muslim and become follow Jesus. Like keep educating yourself. I'm telling you to follow you Jesus. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, he's like, he's the I'm only way to the Father. I'm telling you to become Muslim, which I am. But yeah, man. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, it's good to argue, man. Oh yeah, it's it's sharp. Like, we like, should. You know how I talk to you. Mankind sharpens each other, man. Like. Uh, yeah. yeah. So like you know how like I could have been like no man oh fuck I don't believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord you know. But you believe in him as a prophet. Like that. So you gotta yeah, you yeah. gotta you gotta hear what he said. If you believe in him as a prophet, you should read his words. All you gotta do is um get yeah. get a holy Bible to do some studying. It's the New Testament where it talks about Jesus, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the first four chapters. That talks about Jesus. I mean, the whole book talks about Jesus throughout, Good. even in the Old Testament. But um, yeah, before Jesus even came to the earth, he was he was prophesied in the Old Testament three hundred times. That was like a six hundred year gap. It's it all lines up perfectly, man. It's perfect. It's the Word of God. It's in, it's no way a man could ever write that. And if a man ever did write yeah. that, they would have made themselves God, you know. They wouldn't put all glory to Christ. Mm -hmm. They would be like, oh, I am God. Worship me. <laughs> I'm serious. Dude. Yeah, man. That's how it works. But what's it called? Yep. You should all... Yeah, that's all I was going to say, man. But all right, man. Just argue with more people. Yeah, man. Smarter people, you know? Like, yeah, man. Than me. Because then, you know... Take take their if they say something and you're like oh shit you know that might have been you know thing wrong obviously be like okay he was right but let me try to prove that nigga wrong even though like he's against my beliefs even though he says something right just do your best and then if he does also try to like pretend I say something and then just hop on my perspective and be like oh he's right because of this that that no, man, go yeah. back to your perspective I'm like, all about oh, freedom of speech man like try. Yeah, yeah, try to find, like, because, you know, you never know. I'm saying 
What if Judaism is right? What if Catholicism is right? What if Muslim is right? Oh, well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta study each one, and Jesus you gotta find the truth. Right. You gotta study all of them, and okay. find the truth. I mean, Jesus was a Jew himself, but he also made a new covenant. He didn't make the religion Christianity. What Christian means is you follow Jesus and you obey Jesus. That's a true Christian. But I'm telling you right now, most Christians you come across, they're not truly Christian because they're not, they are not living as Christ lived. The Bible says if you want to be a Christian, you got to live as Christ lived. And it's only possible through his spirit coming into us. Hey, man, I know you're tired, man. It was great talking, man. Sleep well, man. Yeah, me too, man. That was actually a pretty good time. You too. Love you, man. <laughs> It's gonna be on the. I'll put it on the channel at some point soon. Peace out, man. It was good. I would like the video and comment. Awesome, man. Later.